members of the barrio. Today we're going on another Cheap Eats food crawl in one of Queens most expensive neighborhoods, Long Island City. $10 or less. We'll be trying food from all over the world with a bunch of Queens locals. You do not want to miss this. Is it possible to eat cheap in Long Island City? I don't know. Long Island City is pretty expensive, man. I think so. I don't think it's easy, but it's possible and it might not be for long. Every great cheap eats journey usually starts with a dumpling spot. Eight piece pork and chive dumplings, and then one order of the eight piece veggie. That's it. I think it looks very well presented. It's a lot prettier than your typical dumpling spot, I would say. You can tell that the, the skin is very thick. That's the way they like it here. A lot of times when we eat dumplings, I like to smother it with a lot of soy sauce, but here you said it's not necessary. Mm -hmm. They have the homemade chili oil and the sesame seeds already put on, also the scallions and the cilantro. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm, you're absolutely right. You don't need any extra sauce on it. With the chili oil, chives just melted in my mouth like one beautiful bite. Dumpling started at the LAC3 as a little stand for a few years. After that they became a food truck in Midtown. The lines would be down the block. And now they are back in LAC where they started as a fast casual restaurant. I love hearing stories like that. <laughs> That's how it works sometimes in New York. You start as a food truck or a little stand, you work your way up, you get popular on social media, and bam you have your own shop. Like I said I'm not a vegetarian fan but John got me eating all these vegetables. <laughs> Tastes like what my mom makes. The pickled vegetable is a good addition. It's got the extra sour, rich taste to it than just regular edamame. I like it. Crispy skin, delicious. Mmm. You know what? Even though it's vegetable, it is darn good. I'm a huge fan of pickles, so this is my favorite side here. Healthy cheap eats right here. Healthy cheap eats. Really? Almost everything on the menu here qualifies for cheap eats. What a long walk we have. Our next stop is half block away. These guys are busy, they're moving fast. Oh, wow. <laughs> These are big slices. The story with Slice is that Dave Portnoy from Barstool Sports gave them an 8.1 and the place really blew up after that. Nothing's more New York than pizza, right? It looks good, it's got the oil on it. Let's see the flop. Yeah. Oh, big time. Yeah, it's Huge. got the big flop. Huge flop. And mine has a little piece of buffalo uh, ranch on it from a Ben's order, but <laughs> all right, let's, let's, let's try this. All right. First time for both of us. Mm. Definitely a step over Joe's. Oh yeah, thin, crispy. Like the tomato sauce. Definitely a fan of this sauce. A little zesty. I like this a lot. I like the crust most of all. The cheese is very good. The oil matches in with it. After one bite, it's so much easier to hold this up. I didn't realize how iconic this New York fold was, so I started traveling to other cities to eat pizza, and I saw people, you know, just kind of holding it like this, and I thought, I'm like, I thought everybody eats pizza like that. I didn't know. I didn't really? know. You needed to come somewhere to get that classic New York City experience, and you're in Queens, and right here in Long Island City. I made the right choice. They ran a margarita, and it rushed me to get this. It's got the right amount of crunch. That's pretty important in my pizza. Buffalo slice, let's give it a shot. I'm not a big, big fan of grease, but let's see how it goes. That bubble sauce is really good. So Christmas in the Philippines is crazy, which is why my mom is very embarrassed that I don't have my Christmas tree yet. Please don't put the date when this was posted, because I'm supposed to have this by September. I was supposed to have this at September. It's already <laughs> mid-December, right? It's like, yep. Early for next year. <laughs> Early for next year. Hopefully it lasts till next year. Yeah, we were literally at this truck a few days ago. We asked all the local well, what their favorite spots are and everyone says this is the spot to go. Barbacoa tacos, one al pastor, one fish taco. I'm excited after 
Ben topped it up. I actually watched their video of this place. I was drooling. Uh -huh. I need more good taco trucks in my life. Thanks a lot, Thank guys. You, Thank, Thank you. you. You're not really eating tacos unless you've got jaritos or Mexican Coke. I'm sorry. It costs a lot more than you would pay in Mexico, but I will say that you get humongous portions. This was uh, 450 for the barbacoa. I feel like in Mexico it would be 50% the size. It would also be a ton cheaper, but that's a different story. But look, look how much guacamole we got in here. It's like more guac than uh, goat meat. But I'm not putting any salsa on you. I'm just gonna take a big All bite. Right, let's do it. Let's try this. Freaking genius. <laughs> That's a good way to describe food. Pineapple and pizza, maybe. Pineapple and taco, genius. Al Pastor convert here. Mm. Barbecue, very solid. Actually, sort of like the perfect type of food. I know they eat this a lot on weekends in Mexico in the morning. It's cold out, this is warming me up. Oh wow. This is so tender, the goat meat is great. Generous amount of guac. Oh my gosh. I got the fish taco here. Last time we got the shrimp taco and that was delicious. Mm -mm. <laughs> the vegetables are fresh and crispy. I love this taco. When I think of Long Island City, I always think of these luxury high-rise condos right on the water. But I never really gave the food scene much thought. Well, the Manhattan people won't come here as often. <laughs> <laughs> but the Queens people love Long Island. A lot of Manhattan people won't go know. above 14th Street. So <laughs> getting them to come to Long Island City, which is one stop away, five minutes from Grand Central, you got to do it. Yeah. You know, if you if you want to explore Queens, like some baby steps into Queens, just one stop. This bakery has to be my favorite bakery in all of Queens. I've tried many but this one takes a spot. He's got me excited, let's do this. Let's, let's get some dessert after a day full of eating cheap stuff. Four chocolates and one almond, yeah. Definitely one of the finest views all of New York City and Manhattan right here. Got it all, the Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building. There's a reason people spend the big bucks to live here. That view, that view doesn't hurt. I mean, sucker, for a romantic story, and we have a story for Ben and Ming right here that Mr. <laughs> Action Kid was an accomplice to their surprise uh, engagement on his live stream. This guy here told me the plan of uh, wanting to propose to his girlfriend Ming. So he's like, hey, you want to set something up? We'll do a live stream. So we came over here, we bought uh, pastries from that same bakery, and he proposed right here. Where, 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 where was the actual proposal spot? Like, like show me the actual spot. Oh. Well, I thought they had a plaque for your uh, proposal. So <laughs> ben and Ming. It was a good awkward five minutes of eating the wonderful croissants right over on those seats, the three chairs. Exactly three chairs. <laughs> and then we came over here. I, I stood and I was like, okay, yeah. waiting for it to happen. And then he's like, all right, Ming. I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. This is very cool to be eating with Manhattan behind us and very cool because it's like 40 degrees with 15 mile an hour wind chill. We're shivering, but we're going to eat this. Cheers! Cheers! Oh, you yeah. broke that. Oh. <laughs> All right. Mmm. <laughs> I just bit right into some kind of a ch huge chocolate chip. It's like heaven in my mouth. I'm such a chocoholic. Oh. Almond croissant. You can see all the powder on it. Give it, give this a go. Mmm. It is so flaky, so buttery. Take a look at the inside here. Amazing. That's all I could say. So good. Super flaky. Love the chocolates. I'm a big fan of chocolate, so this is great. I think we should have bought the hot chocolate or a coffee right now. That would have actually been perfect, but. Outside of that, the sun's about to set. New York City, good friends here. What else could you ask for? All right, make sure to show some love to the Bing Buzz, Ben and Ming. Subscribe to their channel, Action Kid, as well. Hope you enjoy. Tell me in the comments which of these cheap beats you most want to try. I'm curious. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Till next time. Bye.